family anywhere. I couldn't be at. Oh, uh, well, you know, my coach, I think, <laughs> set me up for this, Coach Carlson. It was a very hard program, and I had to work very hard. But she believed in me, and she let me do what I did. I did nursing, and she, you know, let me do all the things. And um, it was just, it allowed me to succeed because I wanted to, and I wanted to be great at both. I can't even talk. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you to Quinnipiac. Thank you to Coach Carlson. Whoa. Okay. And you've just become the face of rugby with everything you've done to push the sport forward. Looking around here, you got flavor flavor. You are like, what? yeah. You know. <laughs> um, uh, that's amazing flavor is me having Jason Kelsey here, having all the eyes on me. But I did this for my family because they knew what I went through after that last Olympics and how broken I was after losing the quarters. So they know it better than anyone. And to come back from that, like I did it for them, and they. They're the ones who keep me grounded, so. Okay. Congratulations. You did it. You did it. Uh, one quick question. Yeah, yeah. What, I mean, what does it mean to make history? What, I mean, what does that mean to you, to be a part of a history making you know, team? In rugby, we say we're just passing through the jersey and making the jersey better, and that's always been my goal to make this jersey better, not just for me, but for the other girls who are going to come into the program. <laughs> to dream of being professional rugby players, professional athletes, so that's what I feel like I'm giving them. Um, and I, even if this is my last rugby game, I hope that there's, there's space for them to grow and thrive and to experience this, because I got to. How good would this last TikTok, next TikTok video be? I don't even know yet. I can't think. <laughs> but it'll be good. How much doubt was there after they took that lead late? How did you guys regroup and, and do this? Um, there's always doubt. I mean, we deal with doubt every single day, every single moment. Um, it's about bring, bringing us back, you know, making eye contact with each other. Um, you know, we've been in so many ups and downs this year. I think it's just like prepared us for these moments. And just like not losing faith, keeping in the moment, and no matter the doubt, no matter the excitement, the confidence, whatever, like we're in the moment, we're connecting with each other. Um, and we're just doing what's, what's in front of us. When you saw her break free, I'm just curious what was going through your head. I was screaming. <laughs> you know, Smith's, uh, you know, been so, so consistent for us, such a threat for us all year. And it's just like a perfect ending to the story. Um, you know, and she's just an incredible player. Her, you know, as soon as she's she split through, like I knew it was a try, you know, and I knew she had to make the conversion. And it's just like, I celebrated before because I knew like she had it in her. Thank you. Thank you. Sound like, I mean, what are your emotions? Yeah, there's um, there's no words to describe it, but um, this one is for anybody who's ever fell short of their dreams and still pushed through. Um, our our values as a team are courage, selflessness, resilience, work ethic, and love. And I think you saw every ounce of that today. And I'm so proud of these girls. And I, I'm just so, <laughs> yeah, I'm so unbelievably proud. When you saw her break free. What emotions were hitting it? Say it again. When you saw her break free at the end there for that game-winning score, <laughs> what, what kind of emotions were hitting Well, tactically, I was like, we don't have a kicker on the team. So you guys don't know that, but Smith's not a kicker. And she kicked, she went, scored that try, and then she kicked her own conversion to win a gold, I mean, a bronze medal for us. So like I said, it's it's 1 to 14, and then everyone back home, we love you so much. You know, we just been unbelievable. Are you U18 boys that train with us? Thank you so much for helping us out. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What just happened? Um, I don't even know. I think we surprised ourselves. Like we, I, I don't know what just happened. It doesn't seem real. I think, like we knew we could do it, but oh God, I'm sorry. I have nothing. We just, we just did it. That's it. I don't. We just moment by moment we took it and all our values shine through. We just defied the odds, I guess. You're gonna, you're gonna get a bronze medal. <laughs> what is that like? I just I never thought that I would get a bronze medal and like the doubt that creeps into your head at every moment in a competition like this is so strong and you don't want to, you don't want to put yourself out there. But we put ourselves out there for a heartbreak, and that's the only way you can also like get joy like this, get the success like this, is if you also put your heart out there to be broken. You guys, when you when you gave up that 
when you fell behind late, I mean, how concerned were you that this might not happen? Um, I mean, there was still like, what, a minute 30 on the clock. There, there was still time. And so you're just holding on to the next moment. There's always a chance. There's always a chance until the seconds are out. So. When you saw her break free. Oh God, that's my roommate. That's my roommate. She did it. Ah! <laughs> I mean, we were excited, but I knew that we knew we still needed the conversion. We knew that we didn't have like a, a like a kicker on the field that normally kicks. So just reserving that for the kick. Congratulations. Right, thank you.